Hi, I'm Lee. I'm the FP&A Technology Director at Revelwood. This video is going to teach you more about IBM Planning Analytics. So you know that in the old TM1 world you had the ability to put numbers into your system as part of your normal planning approach. Did you know that as part of planning analytics you can use words instead of numbers to input data into the system? Let me show you how. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at a standard PAW entry template. We have a grid up on the top where we can enter in data points. Where for this particular example, we're entering some data associated with travel expense. We also have a chart synchronized to the grid up on the top. In this particular case, I set up the chart to synchronize based on one specific account, the meals account. So we'll do all of our data entry within that particular account. Well, as you know, through previous versions of TM1 through standard uh, PAW entry, you have the ability to simply enter in a number. So I can go into my January value and I can just type in 1000. And as soon as I press enter, TM1 will enter the data, it'll do the consolidation, it'll manipulate the charts below. But what you can also do is you can also use words. What if I wanted this to be 2000? Well, instead of typing the number 2000, what I could do is I could simply type 2K. And as soon as I press enter, what PAW is going to do is it's going to convert the text associated with 2K into a number 2000. I can also do fractions within it. So maybe I didn't want to do 2000. Maybe I wanted it to be 2500. I can type 2.5K and PAW is smart enough to convert that number into the thousands. Maybe I wanted to change it. I wanted to put something else in where it was 3000. I type in 3K. But in this particular case, Maybe I wanted to take 3,000 and put it into every one of the months. So instead of simply typing 3K, what I can do is I could type 3K and I can point it to the right. The concept of pointing is simply an arrow, which in this case we're going to use the greater than sign. So by typing 3K with the greater than is telling PAW, take 3K, make it into 3,000, put it into every cell all the way over to the right, and then reconsolidate for me. I can also manipulate individual cells. Maybe I want to take the January value and I want to add 100. Well, instead of having to do the math and figure out what's 3,000 plus 100, I could simply type add 100. And what Paul will do is it will do the math for me and change the number. Maybe what I wanted to do in February, maybe I wanted to increase it by 10%. So instead of figuring out what the 10% is, I could just type INC for increase increase by 10%, and when I press enter, it's going to take the 3,000, it's going to increase it by 10%. Maybe what I wanted to do is I wanted to increase it for all the periods going forward. Maybe I wanted to grow it. I could simply type the word grow. I could type my percent. Let's just grow at 10%. And when I press enter, what PAW is going to do is it's going to say, start with that first period, 3,000. Take the next period, grow that by 10%. 3,000 plus 10%, 3,300. Then take that period and grow it and grow it and grow it. And you could see the results where it's growing it and it's giving it some kind of a curve. All of this can also still be done via a wizard. So at any point in time, I can click on a cell. I can go into a value that calls spread data. And within the spread data, I could do spreads and growths and various pieces. But what I have the ability to do is if I don't want to go into the wizard, I can simply use words. And this approach gives you the ability to use your number keypad, your standard keyboard, or even your voice when you enter data into planning analytics. Hi, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. If you want to learn more, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this, or you can visit us at revelwood.com.